right. So, uh, man, it's been a great spring so far. Um, been very pleased with my guys in terms of what we're trying to accomplish uh, this spring. The goal was coming in was we got to get more physical, right? We got to get more uh, detailed in what we're doing from a fundamental technique standpoint. And then we got to get these guys playing at a high level. And so that was my goal. Um, I just wanted my guys to know what to do. It's always alignment, assignment, and key. If you know how to line up, you know your assignment, then you have a better chance of executing the play. And so I've been, I've been very pleased with where we are right now. You know, with XT and Maskell being out, you know, I've had a chance to play a lot of guys, get a chance to see K. Denhoff. You get a chance to see T.J. Parker, who um, I'm really excited about. You know, he's, he's everything that I thought he would be recruiting him. And, uh, man, he's going to help us tremendously. And then you get an opportunity to see Zaire Patterson, um, who's, who's, he, who's a kid that's, that's, you know, growing. He's still developing. But so far he's done a great job. And Jaheim and uh, Armand Mason has been the surprises uh, so far in camp. So it's been fun. It's been, go- been fun coaching these guys. And um, I'm excited just to see uh, the development moving forward. Yes, I did. Um, I was I was pleased with what they were doing. Now I think Kate had a better scrimmage. Armand had a few mental errors, but um, he's he's shown flashes, man, from a pass rush standpoint, just from a knowledge. Um, that I've been been pleased with him. He's still a, a young man that has not played a lot of football, and he's still learning. So the mistakes that he's making or the other guys are making, those are guys are making mistakes because they've never played a lot of football. And so from my standpoint, you know, I have to be patient. And, uh, you know, I'm a competitor. And I want to win. I want to do – I want them to be perfect. But not every rep is perfect. And uh, but so I can – all I can do is just keep coaching them hard you know, just coach them hard, coach them on the details of what we're trying to do and, and get them to execute at a high level. Yeah, well, well, I think if he continue to, to do what he's been doing in terms of uh, understanding the defense, playing physical, uh, taking advantage of the opportunity, we've had two guys, you know, masculine in XT, so he's been getting a lot of reps, and I think getting reps is going to help him, and he's done a great job. You know, every year I, I talk about having five to six guys ready to play, and that's still my plan. That's the goal, and, and hopefully, um, you know, Kay to be one of those guys in the rotation. Yeah. Well, he's physical. Uh, he's a big kid. He, he has, has a great foundation. His, his D-line coach has done a great job uh, in preparing him for, for college football. For a young man who should be in, in, in high school to come in, man, and play and execute and do the things that he's doing on the field um, as a high schooler, you know, he, I've been very pleased. And I, I saw that, you know, when I would go watch him practice. I saw that when I watched him play. Um, he's, he's doing a great job. He's physical at point of attack. He can rush the quarterback. You know, he's a what we call a plug and play guy. That means he come in day one and he can you can put him in and he can play and he can execute. And 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 that's what I wanted when I recruited him and that's what we got. Peter Woods can play anywhere he wants to on the on the D line. He's that he's just that good. And right now, uh he's been playing mostly inside, but Man, we, he's going to play wherever we need him to play, and he can do it. He can play that position at a high level as well. So if we need him to play at an end position, that's where he'll play. Yep. What, what is it about him that he's kind of allowed him to come in and put everybody on notice, I guess, or, or let everybody see what he's Right. Like. Well, he's, man, he's, he's, he's a physical kid. He's twitched up. You know, he plays with a tremendous effort. He uh, had a great D-line coach coming out of high school. And so the foundation for him is already there. He's a competitor. He's hungry. 
He's all those things. And you can, you know, Coach Sweeney talks about you, you know it when you see it. I saw Peter Woods as a freshman, and I was like, wow, you don't get to see many guys like that. And, uh, man, he's just he, – he's all of that. And I'm happy he's on our team. No, I wasn't surprised. You know, I was not surprised. XT needed to come back. You know, I, you know, if you you've been injured and you haven't uh, done the things that he wanted to do from a football standpoint, and you know, we talk about his draft stock wasn't where it needed to be, and so now he gets a chance to come back and 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 hopefully stay healthy and and, and prove that he deserves to be uh, one of those top guys. And so, just having him. Uh, you know, it's 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 been it's been good to see the other guys play, but knowing that I'm gonna have an opportunity to get X back, and then Masco, uh, that's good. And I get to, you know I got a chance to truly evaluate the young players, and so that's that's it's been a it's been a blessing to be able to do that. Um, that's a good question. Is uh, I think you know. XT, man, he's always been an explosive guy, right? I think, I think for him, it's just been detailed and, and his, you know, things that we ask him to do, you know, from a run game standpoint, you know, understanding block rec, um, understanding being physical at point of attack, you know, just complete his pass rush, just get a get a um, get some tools in his pass rush game, and if he's able to do that, and we saw the two games where. He played last year and he was lights out, and uh, you know he's he's dialed in on what it what it's going to take. Uh, his body is look he looks amazing, and so we just got to keep him healthy. And um, if if that happens, I mean he could he could tear this place up and really be really really good. And that's what we're looking for. Yeah. Well, I think initially you got to, you got to, I think he had a hard time initially because he was disappointed, but uh, he's in a good headspace right now. And that's what we want. If if we can keep him locked in and, and good in his, in his headspace and, uh, and he's focused, dialed in, uh, that's the best version of XT. And that's what I see right now. And I saw that he stepped up the other day, just been a vocal guy in my meeting on the field. You know, I'm asking him questions, man. What did you see? You know, how can you encourage these guys? That's that's a different XT. He's never been that guy before, and so that's encouraging for me, as a position coach, knowing that, you know, I'm preaching I'm preaching that message, but I got one of my guys just right there. He and Masco both, uh, you know, encouraging the, the players, and that's what we got to have. Where's his status as far as rest of spring goes? Oh, he's good, man. He, you know, hurt his ankle, but he was in full practice today, and uh, I'm excited about that. I got a chance to get him a lot of reps. He's been good in my meetings. He's locked in. He's been encouraging. He's been like, you know, coaching those guys, and uh, that's what I need for those those two players to to help me out to 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 be a leader. And you can't leave if you're not here. And so I'm always reminding those guys that, look, man, I need for you to be locked in in my meetings and, you know, bring these young guys on and, and be the leader that we're looking for. So he's been, he's been, I've been really pleased with Masco. What was the sales pitch for Masco? It wasn't a sales pitch. He, he, he let me know and told Coach Sweeney, Coach, I'm coming back. I said, hey, let's go. You know, it, you, you don't have to sell Clemson. You don't have to sell our program. These guys understand what we have and what they want to accomplish. Um, and it's our goal. It's my goal. It's our, our job is to help them get get to that point. You know, I played in the NFL, and I know guys want to get there. You know, I played nine years. It was, it was a hard nine years. And so, you know, if I can do anything to help them, I've, I've lived that dream. And so I want to help them uh, reach their goal and have an opportunity to play there. Well, he got to continue to perform on the field, right? You got to got to make plays that you're supposed to make. You got to be available. You got to do the little things, uh, 
And if he can continue to do that and stay on the right track, and Masco is he's gaining weight. He's he's uh, doing the things that he needs to do in the castle, taking care of his body. He's eating well. He's getting rest. He's doing all those things. And this is not the – I've never seen this Masco before. So I'm excited to see uh, his progression moving forward. Do you think that's just because he knows <laughs> – yeah, hey man, I think so. You know, a lot of guys are waiting on it, like, man, when I'm gonna get my time. I was that way, um, but I think he feels that. Like, now I got an opportunity to to really be the guy, and he does. And so, but he hadn't. You know, we don't have any starters. You know, if T.J. Parker, Parker wants to play, Kate Denhoff wants to play, Zaire, those guys want to play, and so got to have competition in my room. And we haven't even talked about David Ojebwe and A.J. Hoffler yet, right? And so I got, I got, a, I got a, a deep room, and I got guys that are coming in that wants to play football right away. And so I'm, I'm telling those guys, man, just push the starters. And starters, you got you to gotta continue to work hard each and every day because we grade everything, individual, team, pass rush. We grade everything, and everything counts. Nope, I do not. That's why I'm, 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 you know, we've been, I've graded every uh, scrimmage, every practice reps, um, and I'm, I'm still sitting down and I'm, I'm evaluating everything. And so hopefully coming out of spring, uh, I can have somewhat of a, a pecking order and how I want it, want it to look, but I, I really don't right now. Is there any one or two guys that have graded out the highest Uh, Sure, yeah. We got we got one or two guys. I, I don't want to say yet, but um, I do have guys that 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 are uh, doing a really good job. But you know, it's ebbs and flows. It's not consistent. You know, guys are still making mental errors. Right, guys are still misaligned. Right, so you know, you get the you get at one moment you look around, you're like, oh man, he's he's making some strides, and then you like the next day, like, oh my goodness. So they're young guys, right? They're going to make mistakes. So I'm, I don't want to say who, who in my second or third or whatever, uh, you know, third or fourth. I just think all the guys are working hard, and they got to continue to do that, and I'm going to continue to evaluate until we get to uh, fall camp. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, you know, I, I think, like I said earlier, the guys are working hard. And I'm pleased so far with what I've seen out of the young guys. We're not quite there yet, but um, they, they are definitely making strides. Yep. Well, surprise in terms of just uh, his fundamentals and technique. Uh, Jaheim can rush the quarterback. There's no doubt, man. His, that's one of his skill set. And so for us as a defense, we gotta we got to put him in the right situation so he can do what he's good at. Uh, I don't expect to see Jaheim in a, in a four-eye or a three technique trying to take on guards and tackles. All right, I like to see him on the edge and, and, and rush the quarterback. And so that's the skill set that he brings to the table. And as a position coach, it's my job to make sure that I um, help those guys identify what they're good at. And that's one of the things that Jaheim is good at. So we're going to get him on the field in some, some passing situations. Yes, sir. I, I think that. Yes, yes. He can. He can definitely rush the quarterback. Yep. Yep. So he has. He's. He's eating well. He's eating better. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's doing the things that we're asking him to do. He's. Uh, he's working with D Love, in the weight room. D Love has done a great job of, uh, just putting mass on our guys and and working them hard and. That's the buy-in, right? You got to get you got to get stronger, bigger, stronger, faster, and our guys are doing that. No question, man. You look at that dude; he walks in the in a room. You're like, wow, you know, he he has the the height, the weight, all the measurables, but he needs to decide if this is what he wants to do, and if he ever decides that and that light goes off, he can be a great player. But I can't want it more than him. Coach Sweeney can't want it more than him. He has to make a decision that he wants to do it. 
uh, just to be consistent, just to be able to get on the field and I can trust those guys. I want to be able to, when I put them on the field, not have to worry, if, uh, you know, are they going to execute the play? Uh, I want to know for sure that I can count on them in any situation, any position on the field, whether it's, you know, near the goal line or whether they got to go 100 yards or 90 yards, whatever the situation is, I want to know that they can execute. And so that's, I think that's the big deal. All right, I can't have mental errors on the, in the practice field and then, it, you know, for these guys expect on game day that you're going to play. It's not going to happen. If you're not going to get the job done on the, on the practice field, then you're not going to play. I've gone in a couple of years ago just playing three guys because of the inconsistency of the backups. So I just, I just, need, I just need those guys, I need Zaire to understand if you're going to play for us, you gotta, you got to do things the right way. you got to know what to do, right? And that's why I was talking about early assignments, alignments, assignments, right? You know, what, you know how to line up, okay? You got a chance. You know what your assignment is, you got a chance. And that's, what, that's, that's the buy-in. Yes, yes. That's why we're in spring ball, right? He's, he's doing a good job, you know. He's, uh, he's learning. He's never played a whole lot of football. He's come from a small high school, and so he's still developing. But I, I, so far I've been pleased with his, his, uh, his progress. He's not where I need him to be, but he's moving forward. And, and that's my job as his coach, to find ways to help him to execute what we need. And so we've been doing a lot of walkthroughs. Right, we've been doing a lot of meetings in the room um, and just trying to find ways how do my guys learn and, and uh, you know, to spend a lot of time walking through things and talking through things and, and uh, putting them on the board, right, so they can truly understand what they need to do. And, and the, the other part is understand the why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Um, oh, I don't know. That's, uh, that's a good, good question, man. I think I've seen a lot of 12 personnel. And so our guys been able to play over the tight ends a lot. Um, the guys are, you know, I think they're, they look like they're, from my perspective, they look, look, look excited about playing in that offense. Um, but I don't know, man. You know, I've been I've been so locked in on my dudes, trying to make sure they know what to do. I do what I've I, what I've seen so far is my guys have been able to play over the tight end and attach tight end situations, and um, you know, like I said, the twelve personnel. But I just been really focusing on 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 my position. To be honest with you. Right. I think you always feel like you got a lot of work. I mean, you, you think about Miles and KJ, uh, they played a lot of snaps and, and guys that you could trust to go out and play and execute at a high level. And then you come in the spring, and that's what spring is for, is to get the young guys ready. But you come in, you don't have XT, you don't have Maskell. Now you, you got Cade. And, but, you know, I came in the spring excited, man, really to have an opportunity to get these guys some reps and just to see what they could do. Every guy, every guy on that, oh, and from my position, have, play, have, have gone against the, uh, the first team because right, I rotate them all. And so I did that so I can really get a true evaluation of who can play on Saturdays. And, um, you know, they've, uh, they've shown me a few of them that they, could do it. they can play on Saturdays. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he can play he can play he can play day one. All right, so um you know, you gotta earn the right to play, right? And if you're a starter, you gotta you gotta continue to do the things so you can remain a starter. But if you're a young guy, man, you gotta be pushing. You should be pushing every day to get in that starter role. And you do that by making plays. You gotta be productive. You know, I don't want a guy out there that's you know grading out 90%, but it's not productive. I'll take a guy that's 68%, but, man, he's, he's productive. And that's what football is about. You know, I want the sacks. I want the turnovers. I want all that, right? I don't want a guy just, hey, coach, I'm just doing my job. Yeah, that's fine. But be productive doing your job as well. Does that make sense? 
Well, I mean, you know, we got high expectations. We got goals, man, and we didn't reach them all. We There were some sacks that we didn't get, some turnovers we didn't get, and, you know, there was misalignments, misassignments, things like that. And so it's my job is to make sure my guys are detailed, right? I want to I want to make sure I do my part and, I, you know, that we're not the problem from a defensive standpoint. We're going to hold our end of, the, of this job. We're going to do our job. We're going to do it consistently. I owe that to my head coach. I owe that to the rest of my defensive staff. And so my job coming in is to be focused, dialed in, demanding, get my guys to play at a high level. If, if they're not playing at a high level, then I need to find some other guys that want to play at a high level. But we're going to be consistent. We're going to be physical, and we're going to do our job. And we're going to do it at a high level. Yep. Well, you just got to do it, man. You, we got different drills that we do but pre-practice. Uh, if, the, if the running back is running, you know, we got to come behind and try to punch the ball out. You got you to do the things that we've been working on. But that's been the goal is to get more turnovers. And it's been good, man. It's been, it's been really good how we changed uh, this offseason, how we're doing things in practice. And, and turnovers is a focus. You know, uh, pass rush is a focus. Uh, being strong at point of attack, being physical, those are the focus. And uh, if we just, we just got to c- continue to do it. And it's like muscle memory. You do it in practice, man, you're going to do it in the game. And that's what we got to get out of our guys. Uh, I don't, I don't know if he's different. I just think he, um, he is uh, holding people accountable, and that's coming from the head man. You know, he's, he, we all, we all got to be held accountable. There are things that we got to do from a staff standpoint. Um, you know, Coach Sweeney, he called me and told me what I needed to do. We all went through it, like, and and I heard him loud and clear. And um, I'm a competitor. I want I want want what's best for my guys, and uh, I love my job, right? And I love football, and so I'm gonna get the guys that that want to play um, and play hard, and I'm gonna demand it. And if you don't do those things, then you're not gonna play for me. I'm gonna go get somebody else, and that's how you do it. I, I, it's always been that way, right? You got to get guys to play and play fast, play physical get on and off the field, do the little things. And uh, that's what we got to do. Yeah. Keep water in the bamboo. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. From a defensive standpoint, when I played football, college football, the way I got on the field was from special teams. Too many times these kids are thinking they can come right out of high school and get started in, in college football. It does not work that way, right? And so the, the role of a coach is to help identify what they can do, right? You got to learn how to play special teams. That's what we need you. I need him to learn how to play punt, punt return, all the things on special teams. And if you start having flashes and you start doing things on special teams, you get noticed. Now it's like, okay. I can I can try maybe put him on on some defense, but these guys come in man they want to play defense right away. Learn to play special teams. I got my start playing special teams. I got to the NFL playing special teams. I didn't start my career starting in my career until like year seven, right? That's when I started. But I I got I got on an NFL team by playing special teams, right? I played at Alabama by playing special teams. And that's what I'm gonna help my guys with, and 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 that's what I've been doing. Like, look, man, you gotta help us on special teams. A lot of you guys aren't gonna play defense.